What is up everybody? It's the Inhuman One here and today I'm going to begin my uh, Fist Weapons Only challenge run for Dark Souls. But uh, as with every run, we do start off in the uh, Asylum. So I figured it would only be fair if I defeated the Asylum Demon with uh, our fists only and no weapon, no starting weapon. So uh, we're going to be here for a little bit. So let's go ahead and start a new game and um, see if we can't you know, create this uh, fist weapons only build. Um, once we get out of the asylum, we're probably going to be focusing primarily on using the Castus. Uh, I think that, that's how I pronounce it anyways. And maybe uh, we'll either dual wield it or we're going to use one and then maybe upgrade it to the, uh, the bone weapon from the iron golem. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to uh, be a shout out to uh, Fallout. We're going to call this guy the Fisto. Fisto. All right, there you go. Perfect. So we got name down, sex. Yes, please. Oh, male. Sorry. I didn't know. Okay. Um, class. We're going to do. So the case is actually uh, specs or uh, it scales. Sorry. Off of strength and dexterity. So um, we'll probably go with warrior since it's really balanced. It's like 13 and 13, which is really good. Um, I think that'd be fine. Yeah, we'll go off that. It's got equal scaling for both. I re if I recall correctly. Uh, for the gift, we're going to go with the Master Key. We could make this really easy and get the Black Fire Bombs and just kill the Asylum Demon that way. But that wouldn't be much of a challenge run, right? So we're going to go with Master Key so we can have some, uh, I guess, mobility and, and, and get some, you know, be able to advance in different areas. What is up? A, C a Night Shadow, a.k.a. Chris. Thank you for following. Let's see here. We have physique. We're going to go with a large upper body because we're going to be using fists primarily. Face. We could kind of go with a, a one punch man kind of vibe where he's bald. But I love using the like the pale, white, creepy, dubious Karen people. Uh, hair. Let's see. We're going to, I guess, we'll, yeah, we'll be bald. Kind of as a paying homage to the one punch man. And then I don't know why I have to pick a color. Oh, I guess for the eyes, too. Okay, we'll do dark purple. All right, except let's try and do this. This is going to be a pain, but um, I think with our punches, we only do about one or two uh, damage per strike. So that should be a lot of fun. Um, we're going to be here for a while, so let's get used to it. Let's enjoy the uh, the scenery while we can, because we're going to be seeing the uh, Asylum Demon's butt for, <laughs> for for about two hours, I'm estimating. <laughs> and I'm trying to think, should I just go naked and remove my armor so I have better mobility? I'm thinking so. Um, I could tank probably about three or four hits with a full set of armor, so I am contemplating that, because we're about to come up on the, uh, the fight here now. I'm going to go ahead and face off with him the very first time we see him we won't have estus flasks which is fine but if i die then that's fine we'll just go ahead and uh and go through the normal progression and then we'll get the estus flasks and and fight him again now i think you can do a plunge attack i'm a little rusty but i am pretty sure you can do a rust attack with uh <laughs> with your fist so i'm sure that'll do 10 damage all right let's see i need to remove this because i accidentally use it so let's get rid of that and are we going, let's see, as long as I can fast roll, I think I'll be okay. Oh man, our guy's ugly. I love these remastered graphics. They are beautiful, beautiful indeed. All right, here goes. First attempt. How many is it going to take? We will find out. All right, here goes. There's that big meaty butt we're gonna be punching for like two hours look at that two damage <laughs> ah. oh i didn't remember that attack i thought he was gonna slam down there iframe baby okay now we're there right, right where we need to be at no i don't like that technique it's very deceptive you gonna slam down. That's perfectly fine. We're gonna sprint behind him, punch him in the butt. Wow, we are just chipping away here. <laughs> Even the heavy attack does two damage. 
I think the only thing they can do more than two damage is if I do a, a, plun a lunge attack, which does three damage. It takes up way too much stamina though, so I don't feel like doing that too much. And the recovery time is a bit slow, so not going to do that either. Ooh, that was lucky. Swing and a miss by the Asylum Demon. Alright, this is going to take a while. This may take a while. But once we're out of it, um, we'll be able to use our Castus and stuff. I just wanted to kind of... This is going to help me prepare for using Fists only. And we'll actually have a weapon that does a decent amount of damage. So I'm not, I'm not too concerned with throwing in a, a damn near impossible challenge in the beginning. Because once we do this, everything else will be easy. Easy indeed. Oh gosh, I was not sure what he was going to do there. But if we stay right under his bony little tail, we should be fine. I've already taken a pretty good hit though, unfortunately, so i got to be very careful because we are just not dealing a ton of damage, so this is all about longevity. This is a war of attrition. Who can last the longest, really? Alright, we're going to sprint behind his butt. Punch those meaty hams. Alright, so far so good. I just need to be careful that one attack where he has a little kind of swings behind him at a strange angle. That one doesn't have a shockwave like his d demonic cousin, so that's fine. Gonna sprint around him again. Gosh. So whatever we just did, we have to repeat that time is about 14. <laughs> Oh my gosh. He's just sweeping with that hammer of his. The demon hammer. Oh gosh. I need to get out of that corner. Come on, big boy. Yes, do that, please. Keep doing that. And um, if you haven't already noticed... I haven't played this game in like a month, so, <laughs> so I'm a little rusty, you know. There's going to be things I forget, so you guys are more than welcome to remind me of things that I will surely not remember. Alright, you need to get out of the corner, because I'll just do that. Come on. I, don't, I hope he doesn't lunge at me, but gosh, I can't, I just can't get over how beautiful the, uh, the graphics look remastered, like it's so good, so good. Back then it looked amazing, looks even crispier now. Ooh, three hits. Three nasty hits, boom, okay. He's trying to double up on me. We are one shot right now. So we'll see how far we get. I can't see anything. All right, we're going to sprint behind him and get in a very bad position. Oh, God. Your hams. Your hams. I'm dead. His hams got in the way. All right, so that was bad positioning. I need to bait him out, but I did take a pretty bad a, a strike whenever I uh, was out trying to reposition him, so I got to be very mindful of that. We should go back to one of the bonfires we'll just do our normal progression here i don't think he'll will he still be here where the hell is he yeah i guess not but anyways what we're gonna do is uh we're gonna just go ahead and go through our normal progression and we'll try and do the second attempt where we get the ss flasks so that will definitely help us give us a better opportunity because we'll have some eels um, all right, so we're gonna go there. I don't really need any of this. Yeah, it's like thinking. Dodge. I'll get you. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> Goodbye, little friend. Fog gate, give me invincibility. Just 
we're gonna run up these stairs, narrowly avoid the ball of doom. Talk to this guy. Thank you. Get out. All right, so now we have our S's flasks. And we have a key. You know what? Why not just kill him from here? <laughs> we'll rest at this bonfire and then we're going to head straight to the Asylum Demon. Ah, I can't. That's right. So let's go up and around. He's like two feet away, so it's not a problem. We will be there in just a few seconds. Dodge. He's chasing me. Our guy looks so huge. He's so muscular. Come on. Before I get sandwiched in by all you guys. Ow. Ow. Oh, whoops. Whoa! Ow. Okay, we're good. Fog gate. And let's see what this does. Yes! 30 damage. That is the most damage we're going to see all day. Alright, that hurt. I don't like that. I'm not going to ruin the fact that we got 30 damage, though, so let's go ahead and uh, let's, let's beat this guy. This time. can't believe how much stamina it takes to, to strike with your fists. It's insane. The stamina cost is, uh, is absurd. Alright, here goes. I need to create some distance here. Gotta reorient uh, myself because I'm a little... I'm off in a bad position pretty much, so let's re ah, position. Get behind his butt. If he lets us, he's, he's being very defensive of his butt today. Look at that jiggle. That's what you want to see. Can I two fist punches? <laughs> like two hand punches? That'd be awesome. No, you can't. That was close. I'm up against the column here. Let's see. Yeah, do whatever you gotta do, man. Why do you keep backing up? We're gonna do this. Um, it's only a matter of time. I can't believe how low damage we deal right now. But um, I'm really looking forward to getting out of the asylum because we'll have the Castus. We'll go straight to the blacksmith and we'll get those bad boys. We have, uh, I think, 13 strength and 13 dexterity with our uh, warrior. So we should be dealing some pretty decent damage out, out of the gate. And we'll continue scaling that up so we do a bunch of damage. And uh, I'm trying to decide whether I'm going to dual wield the Castus. Or uh, have one in each hand, pretty much, right? Or if I'm going to just use it on one hand. Because I, I won't be able, on a new game anyways, be able to have more than one dragon bone fist. So I'm thinking probably just to have one. Because it will it'll, uh, help reduce the costs of all the upgrades and stuff as well. Alright man, I need you to center yourself, please. You keep backing up every time you strike. I'm just anticipating a lunge attack here that's not coming. There you go. We'll get behind him now. Yes, I love that attack. The signature jiggle. Ooh, that was close. Okay. If we stay right underneath his tail, you can typically kind of be dragged about by his character model, which is uh, what we want. Ooh, that was a little close. Almost a glancing blow there. He's going to do a slam attack, which is perfect. So we're just going to 
take advantage there and deal as much damage uh, as we can. DPS, DPS. All right. Looking good so far, actually. Let's regenerate uh, our stamina. He's gonna reposition here. And we will allow it. We gotta get right in that crack. There it is. That's where we wanna be. Come here, little man. We're doing pretty good. <laughs> Look at his health. He's almost uh, another 10 minutes. He'll be at half health. This is great. This is good. Oh, that was close. We're coming around, coming around. He's going to stomp, and we're going to sprint behind him. Wait for him to strike. There you go. That's a good strike. We want to see that. That is my favorite strike for him because we get a lot of hits off of him. And we're pr relatively safe, so. Alright, we need to roll. Ooh, that was close. I'm going to heal for safety. A little safety heal there. There's a big lunge attack there. There you go. I'm gonna have to get out of here. It's not a good, not a good spot to be in. He's still kind of in the corner, so we're only gonna be able to get a few hits in before we have to reposition again. Like that. See, I, I shouldn't do that. I'm getting greedy. Can't get greedy. All right, come on. Quit trying to hit me and hit me. Who? That was close. The Morpheus quote almost got me. Speaking of Morpheus, who's going to watch the new Matrix movie? I think it's come out on the 22nd. I really, really want to go see that. Very good. Good positioning so far. He's in an excellent spot for us. We're going to roll for safety. Regenerate some stamina. Roll again for safety. Because we're kind of sliding off. His hind quarters there. Okay, I want your butt towards the center. That's fine. He didn't really do it that way. That's okay. I'm not going to actually go back. I'm going to wait for him to reposition instead. Alright. Now we can get behind him. I want his butt facing the center. Okay, excellent. So now we can sprint behind him. And start dealing some... Tr oh, he's good. He's real good. He's too good, in fact. He reads me. There you go. I'm not feeling comfortable. That's why I'm having to uh, use my dodges there. I wasn't happy with my positioning. I felt like I was a little bit too far. Like, touching his ankle makes me a little nervous because I feel like I can get hit from that giant demon hammer of his. I didn't want him to do that's fine I'm gonna pull him out a little bit more just a smidge okay that was close big swing here you can come behind him he's probably gonna float up that's fine we want his butt facing the center so we have the maximum position here so when he strikes he, he kind of takes a step backwards so he pivots a bit no, don't do it. You can float up if you want to. Go ahead and reposition. If you must. But instead he did a big lunge attack. That's fine. His tail is actually in the way of my my character model here. I'm going to sprint behind him. We're in a great spot there. As long as he doesn't do that strike again. Perfect spot. We reposition, so we're good. Looking really good, actually. Now we're going to reposition. Because we're... A little bit too backed into the corner. And so, we're going to patiently wait for him to take a few steps. He's doing his big lunge attack there. That's what I had been anticipating this entire time. And fortunately, he's not been uh, <laughs> too aggressive to do that. Oh, 
Oh gosh, he he fainted me out there now. Completely faked me out. Very good. We're gonna reposition. I'm gonna let him scoot up towards us so that we can get in a better spot. We still have three heals plus about 75% of our health. So we are looking pretty good in the health department. I got the iframes on that roll there. I thought I was a little late. We want his butt to face the center so that when he backs up, we have plenty of room to work with. So we're going to get right behind him. That was a little close for my taste, but that's okay. He's going to do the same thing there. We're good. Go towards his butt. And go towards his butt again. We're, just, we're not going to sprint just yet. Ah, uh, I didn't time that right at all. That's okay. We're going to go ahead and heal for safety. Sprint behind him. We have two heals now because of my sloppy footwork. That's the attack we want. I want him to do that as much as possible, but I'm not going to bait it. I'm not going to get in front of him and bait it, anything like that. Okay, we want his butt to face the center. Now we can go behind him while he pivots with his strikes. We'll have plenty of room to attack him. He's pretty much a little bit just, just a tad below uh, half health. That's great. It's only been 20 minutes. All right, reposition your booty. Very good. Go behind him. I didn't want to do what I did last time and just lazily walk behind and use angles. I wanted to make sure I I got the uh, <laughs> I cleared that path so I didn't get hit. So he's going to reposition. I am going to do the same. Very good. We're going to sprint behind him and hope that he strikes with his, yeah, towards the right. Very good. Very good. Okay, that's what we wanted. Very good. If he can do another one of those strikes, we're going to be golden. But he's going to fly up instead. That's fine. We're going to bring him out here. Sprint behind him. There you go. I love that attack. Do that every day, sir. That's what we want. Ooh, that was weird. I thought he was going to attack to the right. He might take flight here soon because he's going to get pissed at us. For circling behind him. That's okay. We got hit there. It's no big deal. That was a little closer than I would have liked. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was close. Ah, he's doubling up. His combo. No! I died. Ah, I can't believe that. We had him below half health too. And unfortunately, we're going to not take advantage of that 30 uh, hit drop from the beginning that plunge attack oh no that makes me sad that's okay dang it but did he destroy the uh that platform maybe he did maybe he didn't we were so close and we still had two heals too he just uh he got a little aggressive on that combo and he had us come on out friends all right let's see hey he didn't destroy it perfect yay we still get the 30 hit <laughs> benefit i guess we didn't stay there long enough to uh, to get hit all right here goes back to the drawing board i can't believe it He got cheap. He did a two-hit combo that just really threw us off, uh, threw me off my game, to be honest. Caught me off guard, and then the rest was history. I couldn't get that. I couldn't recover from uh, that downed animation fast enough to get the iframes I needed, so I did not roll in time. Reposition, slam down, perfect. We'll go behind him. camera 
is going a little wonky. Reposition. Perfect. We'll go behind him now. He's in a better spot there for us. He's in the keep reposition. That's fine. And we'll do the same. If he can strike towards the left, it'd be great, but he's not going to. We're going to come behind him now. There you go. Roll away really quickly to safety. We have five heals and about 75% health, so we should be good to go, but we've been surprised before. He steps back so much when he strikes. It's crazy. There you go. That was the timing that we wanted. Reposition yourself, good sir. We won't have too many good strikes here because he's going to back us into a corner. Oh my god. Roll, baby. We're going to heal for safety. Going to reposition here. I'm kind of uh, in a bad spot. Sprint behind him. And start punching his buns. Alright, here we go. We're gonna sprint behind him again. There you go, I love that attack. Gives us a bunch of hits. A bunch of free hits, actually. I wonder if I can bait that again. No. <laughs> I cannot. We're going to go behind him. Get in our position here. And let him fall. Go sprint behind him. Reposition. It's okay. He is floating around a lot today. And, and again he does it. Float like a butterfly. Right, here he goes. Perfect. So now that is the position we want right here. Because now, if he, oh, he, he, he repositioned himself. That's okay. That's okay. That would have been great because we had a bunch of room to fight with him in. That's okay. I'm going to bait the strike. That's good. That's the strike we like. We weren't in the prime position to take advantage or capitalize off that, but that's okay. We're in a good spot now. Good roll there. I was lazy, but I, I think it worked. <laughs> I'm glad he's repositioning. We're going to kind of bait his butt out this way. Very good. If he can strike with his right, or toward, he's not going to. He needs to strike towards the right side so he can straighten himself out. We're gonna get behind him anyways and get another strike in. Okay. Reposition. This is nerve wracking. Whew. We got him down like to 75% or so, so we still got a lot to go. Gonna get behind him here. Of course, he's gonna float up. That's fine though, because now he can reposition perfectly where we want him to be. To get behind him, do some strikes here. Dash to be towards the center of his butt. There you go. Very good. I have to reposition here soon, but we're gonna have to dodge that. Woo, that was close. All right, time to reposition. Come on over here, Asylum Demon. There it is, that's the timing. Very good, okay. Yep. Have him reposition his butt towards the center. That way whenever he strikes, he does pivot backwards a bit. So he's gonna reposition again. We want his butt towards the center if we can. If he strikes with his right, he's not going to, though. He's going to strike with the left. 
That would have been nice if he could straighten himself out, but now he's going to straighten himself out and give us a little bit more room to attack him. And I'm okay with that. He got us there, that's okay. We just can't get caught in any of those little combos of his. Like that. We're going to heal. He's probably going to do a lunge attack because we're healing. Yep. He still tagged us with the shockwave, but the aftermath of the attack doesn't do nearly as much damage, so we should be good. Now he's positioned perfectly where we want him. We're going to sprint behind him. Very good. Okay, let's do this. Okay, we're going to sprint behind him now. Do it again. There, that's the attack we want to see. I still can't get over how much stamina this the uh, attacking with fist does. It's insane. It's like equivalent to a dodge almost. That is a very expensive attack for it to deal two damage. It's very concerning. Inflation. All right. Very good. Perfect. Okay, here we need to sprint away so we can reposition. Um, I don't like where he's at, so we're going to keep him over here. We want to bring him to the center so we have a little bit more room to operate in. That's okay. The shockwave got us again. I haven't been able to time that perfectly since the first time. That's okay, though. It happens. We're going to sprint behind him, reposition. He's going to float up again. That's fine. We're going to do the same thing. That was close. His tail was wagging, so I couldn't actually get through where I needed to be. That's okay, though. That was nerve-wracking. A little scary. Okay, that was even more scary. He fell right next to us. Then go right. There you go. I'm glad he floated because if he would have struck, it had a very difficult uh, angle there for me to <laughs> anticipate his attack. So I'm glad he decided to float up instead of use his hammer. <laughs> very nice of him. That was scary. Alright, I need to reposition now. Scratch my nose. Hi frames. My little friends. Okay, he's almost at half health. If I get hit one more time, I'm gonna heal no matter what, just for safety. I don't want to get caught in a strange combo like last time. He's going to reposition perfectly for us. If he can strike with uh, towards his left foot, that's what we want. But he's not going to. That's okay. And then go around him again. Now he kind of put us in a weird spot here. That's okay, though. He might float up again, actually. When he doesn't like his position, he will actually float up to, <laughs> to get in a better spot. More advantageous for him, of course. There you go. He destroyed that column with that pillar for us. Let me uh, reposition my controller here. That's okay. That's the second time he's done. A uh, third time he's done it in a row. We're gonna heal. Perfect. He was so generous. He did the same attack twice. Three times in a row. Got the iframes there. We got lucky. His tail was in the way, so I couldn't reposition like I wanted to. Got the iframes there as well. 
We didn't need him there. We got good positioning there. Damn, his legs are ugly. I've never spent this much time fighting this boss, so I've never spent this much time <laughs> admiring his, uh, his model. You know, he looks like a king. You see his crown? Like, his horns are almost like in the shape of a crown. That's pretty cool. But again, I've never spent this much time fighting this boss, so I never actually admired how cool he looks. And I felt like the Chaos Demon or whatever it was, which is, I was like, eh, it's just a reskin. So I didn't spend any time looking at him other than, oh, he has fire. That makes it special. Ooh, bad positioning for me. Dodge. Out of range. We need him to hopefully float, but I don't think he will. He's probably going to do another lunge. We're going to sprint behind him. Dodge. I'm glad he didn't follow up with a second strike because that could have been damning. <laughs> All right, here goes. Dodge. Get those iframes. We needed them there. We're in good spot here, so we should be fine. I don't really like my positioning here. But I'll take this strike all day, so please, sir, do it again. Thank you, sir. May I have another? Ooh, he got me there. Got the iframe, so now we're kind of positioned okay. Uh, he's going to float around to change his positioning, of course. Alright, we got him right about where we were last time when we died, so let's see if we can do this. We got the iframes perfectly this time. So a little bit slight a little slight delay there is what we need. We're gonna punch, punch, punch like crazy right now. He's gonna give us the attack that we love. I take advantage of that. We're gonna reposition. Almost got hit there. That was a... Uh, oh, it could have been a glancing blow, but we avoided it narrowly. Perfect. That's the attack we want to see, so we're going to get behind him. He's also in a great position, so when he strikes, he's going to back towards the center, which is going to give us a lot of room to work with. We've got the iframes there, which is great. I'm going to reposition. I don't want to get... I don't want to chance anything at this point. Reposition. Now he's going to reposition. He's not in a good spot for us necessarily, so we're going to sprint away. Create some distance. Ooh, this is tough. There you go. We got the iframes again. Perfect this time. He didn't even attack us on the recovery, which is beautiful. And a punch like crazy. That's the attack we want. Oh, no, it's not. I thought that was this, the two-handed uh, slam attack, but it's not. He's going to fly up. And that's fine because he's still relatively centered. So we should be good. We're right in the middle, so no need to adjust there. There you go, we're doing good. He's in a decent spot. Not my favorite, but we'll make it work. Gonna sprint away. Jump and reposition. I'm ready to take some heavy damage here. I'm anticipating it. So, um, we do have two heals left. Very good. If he could come out a little bit more, that'd be nice. But we're going to sprint behind him anyways, take some advantage. If he can strike the up towards his left, that is perfect. He is perfectly positioned for us now. But he had to be a jerk and strike towards the right.
All right, here goes. He's doing our favorite attack because he just figured it'd be a nice thing to do. He's gonna float up and reposition. We'll do the same. Well, we won't float up necessarily, but we will reposition. Got the iframes. That was really scary. Gonna float up again. We're gonna sprint behind him. Oh, he flew up again. What a jerk. Okay, we're gonna get behind him again. Don't float anymore, please. There you go. We're in a great spot right now. We're gonna go around and hopefully bait a strike towards the left foot. That's beautiful. He's repositioning anyways. That is great. So now we can take advantage of the exact same thing. Hopefully we have him attack with, yep, towards his left foot. Now he's positioned perfectly towards the center. I love it. But he kind of repositioned with by striking towards the right. That's okay. Please do that slam down. This, that would make me so happy. Or not. I don't know what you're doing, but your tail's getting in the way, man. There you go. He's gonna float up. We're gonna reposition. All right, we almost got him. Another two minutes and he's down. We got the iframes yet again. Perfect attack for us. We're gonna stay aggressive here. That's the attack we want, very good. Didn't get the iframes there. Gonna get behind him. There you go. That was a uh, precarious little situation we had ourselves in. But he's doing our favorite attack, so that's good. We'll thank him for it. We'll write him a thank you card later. Reposition. position as well <laughs> he's floating around we got another probably 10 12 hits on him I didn't know he was gonna follow up or not but fortunately he didn't he's doing our favorite strike so we're gonna take advantage another time another <laughs> another generous gift Alright, we're gonna keep punching away. He's dead! Woo! We did it. We beat the Asylum Demon with our bare hands. Damn, that was tough. Okay. I feel good. I feel real good about that. Let's, uh, let's head over to Lordran. And... Let's reflect on what we've accomplished here today. Good gosh, that was tough. That was tough indeed, but I'm so glad we did it. Only in the ancient <sighs> I need water. Regions, it is Dehydrated. But one day an undead shall Oh my gosh, away. that was crazy. I've never done that before. Any of my challenges that I ever show you guys on stream, I can assure you I've never done before. Or I've never practiced or warmed up or anything like this. This is literally just one of those things where I was like, you know what, I think I wanna try this. And uh, I was thinking if I do a, 
uh, if I do a build with my fist, it wouldn't make sense to start off with the Asylum Demon and kill him with a sword or something, you know? So I was like, well, we got to kill him with our fists. And then after that, we'll have the uh, luxury of obtaining the Caestus, right? So let's go get our weapons. Uh, let me see. How far is that, actually? I'm running it through in my head. I feel like that's far. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to call it a break there because that was a hell of a freaking match. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pick it up a little bit later. Um, and I'll continue the stream at 8 p.m. tonight. So that'll allow me some time to take care of some things today. I didn't think I was going to be able to do it in 45 minutes. I thought it was going to take longer. I had about an hour, an hour and a half set, set aside for it. But I think this is a good stopping point. So we can go ahead and say, okay, cool. We got there. Now what we need to do is make our way to uh, the blacksmith. And we do have the, um, the master key. So we should have some freedom there of where of what path we need to take to get to it but i will kind of plot out that path in my head and in the next stream what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh pick up right where we left off head to the blacksmith get the cases and then start leveling up like crazy because we're going to do a uh fist weapons only run and uh, that was the very first part the biggest hurdle i'd say and uh super excited that we got past it but let's go ahead and uh call this one uh, a wrap and then we'll go ahead and pick it up a little bit later i think we have a few other little mini hurdles to go but i might have some strategies to help overcome those so uh, thank you guys so much uh night shadow thank you so much again for subscribing i really appreciate that the support is always appreciated and um let's go ahead and wrap this one up so this i'm sorry rewind <laughs> Let's go ahead and wrap this up. <laughs> Just kidding. So today, I decided to challenge myself. Today, I defeated the Asylum Demon with my fists only. And today, I streamed Dark Souls Remastered for your viewing pleasure. Now, what the fuck have you done lately? It's the Inhuman One signing out. I'll catch you guys at 8.